I'm Lori Ellendorf. I teach second grade at Dunn Elementary, and we are here at the Force in Motion Day for second grade. What happens? An object in motion, what does it do? It pushes us. We have three stations today. The first one is a hover puck, which introduces the kids to the concept of reducing friction by adding air underneath and then they need to also overcome inertia by pushing the hover puck to make it start moving. And then they also get to ride a hover craft, which is the same concept, but it allows them to feel the motion and also understand that someone needs to push them to start their motion moving forward. What? What's, what is there between the friction, right? So because we have friction, We've been studying these concepts for about six weeks and we're trying to allow the children to synthesize their learning by applying what they're learning into a hands-on type of experience and we're asking them questions as they go through the activities to see if they can describe for us what is happening and why as they experience it for themselves. Can we 